Welcome to an e-learning movie, where we'll be looking at the new range of alarm clocks from Bellman and Symphon. The alarm clocks are available in three different models, Classic, Pro and Visit. In this movie, I will demonstrate the Visit model. The alarm clock comes in an environmental-friendly gift box that shows the clock and bed shaker in a daylight setting on the front and a night shot at the back, combined with all the major features. On this side, you'll find the connections to the visit system and features translated into three additional languages. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. The first thing you will see is the all-white clock face. Now let's open up the flap and bring it out. Aside from the clock, the box also includes a bed shaker, a power adapter, and a user manual. The first thing you need to do is to activate the backup batteries. You will find the battery tag here. Now remove it by pulling it straight out. The batteries are normally charged and the clock will now be up and running. The next step is to plug in the power adapter. Just connect this end to the jack here. and connect the other end to the power outlet. I'm showing a European power adapter, and it may differ from the one in your country. Now it's time to connect the bed shaker. The jack is located here, and marked with a bed shaker symbol. Now you have connected all the units in the box. When you want to get up in the morning, a bed shaker is a great alternative to a sounding alarm. Just place it under your pillow and it will wake you up with a strong vibration when the alarm goes off. Now let's have a look on how to customize your alarm clock. At the back side there are three buttons. The left one controls the clock phase backlight intensity. The middle one controls the alarm and flash. And the right one switches between 12 and 24 hour time formats. The backlight intensity can be set in five steps. From completely off to a quite bright level. Just choose one you like. The middle button will turn off the sound or flash or even both if you prefer to wake up just using the bed shaker. Press it once to turn off the flash. This is indicated by a crossed out light bulb. Press it again to turn off both the flash and sound. This is indicated by a crossed out light bulb and a speaker symbol. Press it again to turn off just the sound. This is indicated by a crossed out speaker symbol. Press it one more time to reactivate all functions. All crossed out symbols will now disappear from the clock phase. The right button allows you to toggle between 12 and 24 hour time formats. Press it once to select 12 hour time formats. AM and PM will now appear on the clock phase. Press it again to switch to 24 hour time formats. The AM and PM symbols will now disappear. Now let's have a look at how to set the time. Use the left knob marked with a clock symbol. Press it once to select hours. Now you can turn it both clockwise and counterclockwise. Press it again to select minutes and turn the knob as before. When you are ready, press the knob one more time to exit the time setting. To set the alarm, use the right knob marked with an alarm symbol. Just like setting the time, press the knob and turn it to select hours. Press it again to select minutes. And one more time to exit the alarm setting. 
To activate the alarm, you need to press the alarm on off button on top of the clock. When the alarm is activated, the button lights up in red and an alarm symbol appears on the clock face. OK, let's see what this baby can do. First set the wake up time as we just have learned. Then activate the alarm by pressing the alarm on off button. Now the button lights up in red. And the alarm symbol on the clock face will also appear. Now let's see what happens. The volume increases gradually and reaches over 100 decibel in the end. Therefore, there is no need to adjust it manually. The signal also sweeps through the frequencies, so that even if you have trouble hearing, for instance, high frequencies, you will not miss it. To snooze, press the big button once. The alarm signal will fade out, and the alarm on-off button starts to pulsate in red. The snooze function is very clever. It will decrease the time interval from 9 to 2 minutes in 2 minute steps. Now let's have a look at the built-in night light beacon. To activate the night light, press and hold down the snooze button for 2 seconds. As you can see, it is now turned on. The gentle blue light will guide you back to bed without disturbing a living soul. To turn off the night light, just press the snooze button. If you leave it on, it will go out automatically after one hour. You will find the backup batteries here. The battery lid is secured by a screw to prevent small children from opening it. A print shows the correct battery type and how to insert them. Be sure to only use AAA nickel metal hydride batteries. The clock's powerful battery backup will step in whenever the power goes out. The backup battery does not only keep the time, it also keeps the sound, bed shaker and flashing lights at full power. This means you'll be awakened even if the power went out when you were asleep. Now let's remove the power cable to show the battery backup indicator that lights up when it's running on batteries. As you can see, the batteries are now fully charged. The battery indicator will go from three bars to none to show the status. When it starts to blink, you need to connect the clock to the mains power again to recharge the batteries. The alarm clock can be connected to the telephone line to alert you when the telephone rings. This is done by using a regular telephone cable. Note that this is the Swedish version of the telephone plug and it may differ from your country. Just plug in the cable to the telephone jack here and the other end to your regular telephone jack. When the telephone rings, the alarm clock will alert you with sound, flash and vibrations. In addition, a telephone symbol will appear on the clock face. The alarm clock can also detect if, for example, a door or a window is open or shut. You can actually use almost any low voltage device to trigger the clock. For example, putting two electric cables together will work. Just connect a 3.5mm telejack plug to the external trigger input here. To show you how it works, I have connected a magnetic switch. When it is separated, it will trigger the clock and alert you with a doorbell sound, flash and vibrations. You can also connect a door entrance contact mat, which is activated when someone steps on it. Then it will send a signal to the alarm clock that wakes you up immediately. The VISIT model can also be connected to the wireless transmitters of the Bellman VISIT alerting system. It will indicate with the symbols that you see up here. It will alert you when your baby is crying, when someone's at your door, when the telephone rings 
or even if the smoke detector is activated. The Bellman visit transmitters are purchased separately. In this example, I will show you what happens if someone rings your doorbell. The green door symbol will light up. The flash and bed shaker will be activated and you will hear a door chime. The visit model is set to a default radio key that works with all Bellman visit transmitters. If you need to change the radio key, for instance, if your neighbor also has a Bellman visit system installed, this is how it's done. Pair the clock with a transmitter by pressing and holding down the snooze button for five seconds. Now the yellow and green lights will start to blink and the clock is ready to receive a new radio key. Then press the test button on your transmitter. In this case a telephone transmitter. When the radio key is changed, the clock will flash in all four distinctive Belmont visit colors to let you know. Now the alarm clock is ready to keep you safe and connected with your friends and family.